nuts on Clark and Garrett's. They'll fight you over the popcorn here in Chicago. This is in the airport. They're both in the airport. What's your favorite? The cheese and the uh, and the caramel mix. There'll be time. There'll be time. By the way, midway over O'Hare in Chicago. Every time, all the time. Not even close. It's at this point you may ask, well, Travis, why aren't you up there? Trust me, I'm exactly where she wants me to be. Do it, queen. Queen of the carousel right here. Watch this. Two for two. The unbeaten streak continues at baggage claim at Midway. Initial thoughts on this weather. Comfortable. Layers. Yeah. It's a little chill in the air. It's like October in Duval. It's a little chill in the air. The rideshare situation at Midway is pretty simple. You just come out of the baggage claim right here, and then they've got rideshare pickup just a row over. So, about as easy as you're going to get. Made it inside the condo in the Lakeview area north of downtown Chicago. Looks like uh, looks like Heather's adapting well. Home. It is very homey. That is for sure. In fact, it might be somebody's home. But it's ours for the next five or six days. Very cool bar area here. And then you have mini balcony access here. That you can uh, just open the door on a beautiful day like today and take in the neighborhood. North Halstead, bustling in the five o'clock hour. And then off the master, got a little patio area back here. Strong Chi Town vibes. Yeah, and it feels splendid out here right now. I did do my uh, due diligence on the scout for the area. This is Benny's just around the corner. And this is a lot of red wine right here. Hey, Heath, we didn't have any, now we have a lot because there's a Benny's around the block. So good. It's not complete without the whipped honey, the meatballs with the ricotta. Yeah, I think we're ready. Favorite appetizers at Cortino is the whipped ricotta spread. It has a little bit of olive oil and basil on top, and it's served with the ciabatta bread and honey and pickles. Nice to Love it, love it, love it, love it. And of course, we couldn't just stop with the uh, five different dishes. We had to get the profiteroles. I can't believe how big this is. But, gelato, yes, almonds. Ah, I guess we'll have to do it. Cafe Deco in Lakeview East. What about a head? A couple lattes, apple Danish, and that is a guava cheese croissant. Hip vibe too, right? A little Lincoln Park walk. Butter cookies up there, and then some great Danish and croissant. Yeah. What did we get? Uh -oh. Had to. Had to do it. Peaceful tree lined streets of Lincoln Park. Once you get off of Lincoln Avenue. 
Legendary Kingston Mines. Spent a few late nights in that one. Great blues. Also, pretty undervalued food, I'd say, as well there at Kingston Mines. Especially, especially about 2 a.m. Three-day Metro Pass for the L and Mass Transit. 15 bucks. And, uh... They've got an app for Ventura. You can get the card, digitally load it on your iPhone or Android. And for 15 bucks, three days, unlimited rides on the L. There you go. Easy ride and uh, headed to the couple's massage. Pure Serenity Spa post couple's massage. And I don't think I can give it a higher review, have it was outstanding and heather did a little research and on groupon she found 90 minutes for 90 bucks so that was about a 40 dollars discount in total and again outstanding work as someone who not only is a proponent of massage therapy but in some ways i could say it maybe helped save my life about 25 years ago after a significant injury uh, as far as pain management and keeping you away from the things that are no good, like opiate-based medications, this place rocks. Maybe the best sciatica work I've ever had done. I'm not saying something. I had some good ones, but outstanding, outstanding, five stars, pure serenity spa. Kind of weaving in and out of some areas here and back into Lincoln Park and Yelp thought very highly of this place. Red Light Chicken. We love the simplicity already and look at this. Pretty much walk in, walk out. Got a little bench set up here you can stand at and eat. We're gonna check it out. See what this uh see what this chicken sandwich is all about. So initial impressions. I got the hot chicken sandwich with the uh, cheese and pickles that is spicy mayo eat your heart out whataburger so maybe some cornmeal in it yeah i can see that and these are truffle salted fries so it's a dollar extra for that i'm really enjoying the spicy mayo and it's kind of a classic buffalo sauce mm -hmm. is what it tastes like buffalo wing sauce um on a spice level of 10 i'd say this with the spicy mayo is probably around a seven. It's just right. Those fries are straight out of the fryer. So good. They are McDonald's, which is a good thing. And I see why the truffle salt is pretty popular. It's there, but it's not dominating. Yeah. Just right what you want it to be. Another tip, go to transitchicago.com. They've got a route builder engine there. So you can put in your location and then where you are trying to go and it will develop a path for you based on the L train, maybe the bus system, maybe by foot, they'll do that too, or perhaps a combination of all three. But it's a really easy way to get around. Transitchicago.com, they'll get you set up on where you're at and where you wanna go. All right, head Katsu Shack here off of uh, North Clark and Halstead for a little dinner before the comedy show. And uh, I haven't really had traditional katsu. How about that? Milkshake, vanilla shake. Can't go wrong with that. Yeah. Yum yum. Why not? All right, the reveal. Here we go. The build your own bowl, the veggies with the chicken katsu. It feels yeah, hot. It is. You got the sweet chili sauce. And then I got the tonkatsu sauce which is kind of a barbecue i'd say we're two and oh on fried chicken options today we had the uh red light chicken i thought that was really good earlier and then now uh the chicken katsu the katsu shack that shake worked as well a little bit of order regret they've got the tornado potatoes here it's like it's kind of like a waffle fry on a stick have to do that next time maybe but uh new place here only been open apparently for a couple weeks and early indications they're going to do all right. After several visits to Second City, we're going to mix it up a little bit tonight and hit the Laugh Factory here in Lakeview. Uh, my stick, it's gotten a little stale, so Heather's ready for something a little fresher. So we're going to check it out. How about this for a first comedian at the Laugh Factory? 
the one, the only, the iconic Richard Pryor. Me and my brother Gene got in some trouble listening to some Richard Pryor albums back in the 70s, but it was worth it, every bit of it. Definitely an old school feel here at the Laugh Factory. Uh, several locations across the U.S., but most of those are out west, L.A., Long Beach, San Diego, Reno, Las Vegas, but definitely a lot of well-known historic talent has crossed this very stage. And tonight, it is a best of Chicago night. So we're going to see the very best of the local talent. $20 admission on a Wednesday night, two drink minimum, but hey, we're well on our way. Somebody is ready to make the walk to the friendly confines of Wrigley Field. You ready? Ready. This way. Yeah, it's all happening here at the uh, corner of Waveland and Sheffield. It's a Thursday afternoon. Doesn't matter. Murphy's is rocking. Yeah, I would say that. Uh, I would say that it's on. No cups. Let me hear you, indeed, Harry Carey, a voice of the formative years, no doubt about it. WGN in the afternoon was always Harry Carey. So here's my favorite Wrigley hack. I like to get in here about 30 minutes before first pitch and get up here to the top of the center field bleachers because as you can see, the view is spectacular. But this back row right here, see that little fencing? Yeah, it's like your own box up here and you're getting the breeze from Lake Michigan. Don't really need it today because it's all of 73 degrees and also, I'm not the beer stand right there. Man, I get any better than that. You ready? The Gibsons? Oh. All right, it's a shrimp cocktail draft, and with the first pick overall, Heather selects that view. Who says the And we stumbled into a uh, speakeasy at the bottom of the Green Door Tavern. The Drift Eye. Not bad. So that's a wrap from the historic Green Door Tavern since 1921. Yes, there is the speakeasy downstairs, the drifter. Just know that there is burlesque involved, both vintage and present day. Uber. Getting our Sweden on here at legendary Ann Sather on Belmont. And in that Wrigleyville area, pancakes, eggs, chicken fajita omelet, really? But I'm telling you, I'm coming for those. Uh, it's the two homemade cinnamon rolls for 450. Yeah. So that's the situation, as you can see there. As my Walker County grandfather would call them, cathead sized cinnamon rolls. And yeah, I don't think they're lacking on the icing. 450 for those two. Some crispy bacon and some Yankee taters. You know, those aren't Waffle House, but they smell pretty good. And let me give it all a shot here. Outstanding so far, but now we are reaching the center. It's kind of like the clampets when they hit oil. It's another level of culinary consciousness. That right there, that's the nectar of the cinnamon roll gods. Hev is uh, next leveling these Yankee taters, made a little spicy ketchup. They're peppery, They've got some taste to them. All right, let's take it up a notch. Let's uh, go get in some traffic as tourists with the locals and their cars and their trucks and their 18 wheelers, uh, T's and P's, gladly accepted. And this makes all the death defying biking and traffic in inner city Chicago worth it. Beautiful. Bro out here for real, for real. Navy Pier absolutely is a tourist trap, but it's almost federal law that you come and check it out as a first time visitor to Chicago. And you know what else they got here? 
besides the Margaritaville, Heather, Ben and Jerry. Did we live to tell about it? I did. Knock it in. Let's see what Zaza's got going. Oh, yes. Head, that's kind of like New Haven. Half cheese. There you go. Yeah. I mean, it's not exactly firm, but that looks pretty good there. Mm -hmm. First bite, maybe do a little slight fold. Get that. Got to get that pepperoni in there. One bite. Yeah, that would be in the eights for me too. Not quite like Sally's in New Haven, but good stuff. That's good. Saturday morning, and we are taking the L to Mr. B, where we will engage in the Yes Chef, yes, chef. food tour, inspired by the hit streaming series The Bear. The Bear. So the game is, how many times can you say yes chef and or cousin on this tour? Cousin! Yes chef! Yes chef! All right, you already got one each. First off, Mr. Beef, of course. So it's kind of like a Mr. Beef slider here on the tour. From there. It's the timeout market in the West Loop, very cool. Lots of options, Latin, Indian, Asian, you name it, sushi. Oh, and a full bar as well. Since 1911, getting it done. Since 1911. Sign word. Woof. Marjorie's candies. Let's get it. It's not a Sunday. That's the whole weekend. Oh, okay. The chocolate lady with the. Uh, it's trying. There we go. We're in the Beatles booth too, by the way. That pretty much speaks for itself, I'd say. And that one. Filled with the strawberries to go along with the lemon curd. Oh my goodness. All right, we took the train from the apartment to Midway. Give me your quick review on that experience. It was a very short walk to the train station from where we stayed. I guess maybe about a block and a half, two blocks. Uh, got on with our bags, no problem. There were elevators. Um, we had one little faux pas. <laughs> we'll let you talk about that if you feel like it. And then we got up to the train. We switched trains one time, and that was easy as well. And then we came to the airport, and it like let us right in on like a little private corridor right into the airport. It was awesome. Yeah, and Uber, Very easy. Uber at the time was quoting us seventy two dollars. And we used our pass from yesterday for the train, uh, which, which was, was just under the time limit. So we were able to get the ride for free and we saved ourselves 80 bucks. Boom. Period. Caramel and cheese, cheddar cheese may not make sense when you hear it, but when you eat this, it uh, becomes totally clear. Garrett in the airport at Midway. Stable for Heather Ryer Carter. You can't not do it. You can't. 